Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. This problem is marked as easy because the brute force solution is accepted on lead code. But coming up with the optimized solution is very tricky and challenging. I would consider it to be slightly above medium difficulty. Let's look at it. We are given an array and we have to count the number of triplets such that all the three numbers are distinct. We can consider the same numbers in the triplet if they occur at different indices. Let's look at an example. The first triplet is 4, 2, 3. We are going to use the next 4 to form our triplet because it occurs at a different index. So our next triplet will be 4, 2, 3 again. Similarly, our last triplet will be 2, 4, 3. Hence the total number of triplets will be 3. Writing the brute force solution with 3 for loops is accepted on lead code. Time complexity would be O of n cube. Let's try to come up with an optimized solution for this. Let's try to understand the properties of a triplet by using this example. Because these 3 numbers are distinct, there will still be a triplet even if there are numbers occurring between them. If we try to change the order of this triplet, it will still be the same triplet. So we can notice that the ordering does not matter and even a different arrangement would still lead to the same triplet. Let's try to observe with a bigger example. Here the numbers are repeated and they are not contiguous. Let's try to count the number of triplets. We can notice that there are 4 valid triplets that can be formed. This can also be derived using the frequency of the distinct numbers. If we multiply the frequency of these numbers, it would lead to the same result. You can also observe that different ordering of the numbers will lead to the same result. Let's look at an example with 4 distinct numbers. Here, we can form 3 different triplets, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4 and 2, 3, 4. The count of each triplet can be obtained by multiplying the individual frequencies. The final answer would be the sum of these three groups. To store the frequency of each number, we can use a hash map. One thing to be careful about is to avoid double counting the same triplet. For example, the triplet ABC can also be written as these are all the same triplets and we have to count them only once. There is one way to ensure that by considering B to be the middle number. Now we just have to ensure that we don't double count the arrangement C, B, A. It is easier to visualize this by considering the numbers to be contiguous. We can still consider this arrangement even if there are multiple contiguous distinct numbers on the left and also on the right. We just have to ensure that the same number doesn't occur both on the left and also on the right. All the numbers to the left of B can be considered as left and all the numbers to the right can be considered as right. The number of triplets with B as the middle element would be left into mid into right. This part is a little tricky to understand. But once it is understood, coming up with the solution is not that difficult. If required, you can verify this with certain examples. Let's see how we can use our previous intuition to write our solution. Since we have seen that the ordering of numbers do not matter, we can write the numbers contiguously. We will consider each group of number to be the middle element of the triplet and calculate the number of such triplets formed using left and right. Initially, the number of elements to the left would be 0 and the number of elements to the right would be the length of the array. Let's consider A to be the middle element. The number of elements to the left will still be 0. The number of elements to the right would reduce by the frequency of A. Hence, we would remove 2 to make it 7. The number of triplets with A as the middle element would be left into the frequency of A into right. Once we are done, we could increment left by the frequency of A. 
when we consider b to be the middle element we would have to reduce right by the frequency of b the count of such triplets would be left into the frequency of b into right after that we'll increment left by the frequency of b similarly when we consider c to be the middle element we we'll reduce right by 2 and the number of such triplets would be left into the frequency of C into right. After that, we would add 2 to our left. When we consider D to be the middle element, right would become 0. And the number of such triplets would be left into the frequency of D into right. We have to add all of them to get our answer. The time complexity would be we have to go through the array once to calculate the frequency and then we have to loop over the key value pairs to get our answer. Hence it would be O of n. The space complexity would be O of n because we are using a hash map to store the frequencies. Let's implement our solution. We have to calculate the frequency of all the elements in the array. We would use an inbuilt counter data structure for that. Let's initialize the result to be 0. Initially, our left would be 0 and right would be the length of the array. We now have to iterate over each key value pair in our hash map. We don't really care which number it is, we are only concerned with the frequency. As we discussed before, we would reduce right by the frequency. The number of triplets with this as the middle element would be left into frequency into right. We'll add this to a result. And at the end we'll increment left by the frequency. At the end of the loop we can return our result. Let's submit our solution. As you can see our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.